What is up, everybody? It's your boy here today. We have to talk about one of the, the Sony fanboy posts right here. Apparently, Sony fanboys have the logic of Highlander, how there can only be one. So there can only be one console that you enjoy to play. You can't enjoy both. You can't enjoy having both a PS5 or Xbox Series X, apparently. You can't enjoy both their exclusives, apparently, because this guy has stated that I couldn't imagine not playing games like the next God of War, which is Ragnarok, and having to settle for things like Grounded. PlayStation has been carrying the industry on its back. So Grounded is a very popular game as well since it released in the full, the full like uh, the full mode, I guess, because it was like in the pre-beta access, free access mode, whatever it was originally, but now it's in the full mode right now. So people have been saying that they have been really enjoying Grounded. Even myself, I have really enjoyed what I played so far of it. So it's just fascinating how you that he really thinks that people can't just play Grounded on their Xbox. <laughs> And then when God of War comes out, you can play that on PlayStation. I mean, that just can't be possible. It just can't. These two consoles just can't coexist in the same household, apparently. <laughs> then he says PlayStation has been carrying the industry on its back. Uh, that's debatable because people want to use these these ridiculous list wars to say, "Hey, this game, this console has this many exclusives this year." But when I look at PlayStation exclusives, the only games that really I really care about this entire year was probably God of Ragnarok. And then I'm somewhat interested in Horizon Forbidden West. But other than that, I'm like, what else? That's it. Two games. That was exclusive from PlayStation that's coming up this year. That just came out already. So it's like, uh, like this is it's extremely sub sub subjective about this whole PlayStation's carrying the industry in its bad because you could be happy about the list of games that came out this year, but I'm only excited about two at most that came out this year. So from PlayStation. So that's definitely subjective, but. Yeah, just the fact that you just can't enjoy both consoles. <laughs> like you can't give Xbox praise for Grounded. You just have to, you, or you can't, you can't just give them praise. Each one of these companies praise for their respective games coming out. It's just like there could only be one with these guys. Just ridiculous. But let's see what people got to say about this post right here. I have both PS5 and Xbox Series X consoles, and I can't imagine why anyone who loves and enjoys gaming would settle for just one brand. I say the same thing. <laughs> I have no idea. Why are they just set up for one? I don't know. I was like, you would at least, uh, you would think you don't. If you're a gamer, you want to miss out on any experience, gaming experience that comes out. But you know, they got, they just have to pick one over the other one. Uh, so who just set up for one brand and throw negativity and attention, farming spite needlessly? It's equally evident and pathetic from both sides. Your copy has arrived, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> he says he has the ultimate launch edition of Twitter on PS5 because yeah, <laughs> these guys love to stay on Twitter and say the most ridiculous things on his on his app right here. Imagine thinking you have to choose. That's the real tragedy. Imagine thinking ground is something to settle for while ignoring the industry leading RPG and the pipeline that simply doesn't exist on PlayStation. I can't I can't wait to plan, be playing everything. Okay. Couldn't imagine thinking that God of War is the pinnacle of gaming, especially when we know the game most people on PlayStation will be playing. It will be in a bundle by this time summer hits. Okay. <clears throat> you mean you read Fall High on Life, Starfield, right? Don't forget games to fit your narrative. <laughs> yeah, because Xbox is pretty stacked. Um, I think High on Life comes up this year, but next year as well, at Red Xbox is pretty stacked for exclusive games. Like, we want to say Xbox has no games, but a lot of great games coming out this year or next year as well, too. So, man. I wonder what the narrative is going to be then when these games are released. <laughs> like, I guess they're going to go to Xbox's Monopoly narrative at that point when, when, these, when Redfall and Starfield release. Like, what's going to be the new narrative? The Xbox, they can't say Xbox has no games anymore when these exclusives start releasing. I guess they're going to be like Xbox is Monopoly now at this point. Um. I swear you dudes make a tweet like this every week. Play more games. <laughs> Seriously, you get what you pay for. I think grounded and squashing low poly bugs slash cutting down strands of grass isn't for me. God of War Ragnarok is quality entertainment. I like how he has to make it sound worse than what it is to try to, to big up God of War. Like you do the same thing with God of War, saying, Why does an old man with a kid? Why is he why is he fighting different demons and different creatures like that? You can make it sound worse than what it is too for God of War too, but you know. I like how you just did it for one side but not the other side. But okay. He's definitely not biased there. Uh this guy says you just don't play any games. 
He sure doesn't. Imagine thinking about Xbox Swing for a 7 and not playing the games you claim to talk about, only you. Xbox really got his thoughts, really got your thoughts wrapped around his finger, hasn't it? <laughs> Another cringy tweet. I can't imagine feeling like you have to stick to only one platform. Yeah, I don't get it either. Seriously, no doubt, Ground is probably really fun and better with friends, but it's not setting a benchmark for the industry. Sony games just set bars that only they can compete with. Really? I mean, that's why their sales are so low for their exclusive games. I mean, <laughs> they're setting these high industry bars, but the sales say otherwise, though. But okay. Um, the way Xbox supporters are hyping up games like Grounded makes me feel really sad for them. Maybe the game is pretty great. Like, I'm curious what people have said to this cover right here. I like seeing PlayStation fanboys playing on Twitter than actual games. <laughs> don't feel sad for me because I can enjoy both. Yeah, I don't see why he thinks people can just enjoy both. Because there was no hype at all for Stray. Yeah, when people were hyping up the cat game, it was ridiculous. People were actually just showing people, showing, they were showing people, they were showing their cat's reactions more than actually playing the game. Like, that was a big thing with that game. I was like, okay. It was literally the game is a little there, so you can see your, so you can show your cat's reaction off. I'm like, okay. Um, the way that you ponies act made me feel really sad for ponies. They don't understand there are more types of fun games than the same ones on the show to action adventure games. Okay, one and done. So, yeah. How dare there be more diversity in games that you just don't play these big cinematic action adventure games? <laughs> Whereas like some uh, some old older guy leading a younger kid or something like that around, it's like how dare there be more games than that in gaming than that template. Someone salty. <laughs> Imagine thinking about Xbox nonstop stop alongside not even playing games. Cringe. Couldn't imagine being this obsessed with a company or a product that I supposedly don't like, but yet spend majority of the time tweeting about it. <laughs> just kind of true. They claim they don't like Xbox, but they can't stop tweeting about Xbox. It's just weird. It's a lot of things I don't like out there, but I'm not constantly talking about the stuff I don't like. But you know, here they are talking about Xbox, which they claim they don't like. So maybe they really enjoy. Maybe they really love Xbox. I don't know. Maybe that's what's really going on here. Uh, let me see. And getting engagement about it. You are like a free media team. Okay, Snowboard and Karen, how much extra do they charge for pillows over at Sony for your knees? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, cry more. Oh, let's come out October? Jeez. Hey, wants to say Xbox has no games, but there's a lot of pretty, plenty of games going on in October this month. So, Imagine selling for just the games in one plastic box where you can have all the games. <laughs> so apparently this is the list of games Xbox has coming up or came out and compared to PlayStation. Okay. Well, how do you think about Xbox so much? Yeah, if you don't like Xbox, why are you thinking about it so much? The Cope is really hidden hard. Brazil got these dudes. Panties knotted twice. Okay. Wow. Imagine thinking God of War is the only game worth playing. Grounded is a great game, and PlayStation is definitely not carrying the industry. The biggest step right up to see and meet the biggest clown of all. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't agree with these guys at all. It's like if you got if you have the option to play multiple consoles, I don't know why you would purposely limit yourself to just stick with one console. It don't make any sense to me. Like they each got their pros and cons, and it's like just when you just limit yourself just doesn't make any sense to me I get it you're marking Xbox and participating in a console wars for now a reason Grounded is a good game by the way but uh, PS5 is playing catch up to the Switch in the market at the moment grown men can imagine people having different taste in gaming yeah that's just the, that's definitely the oddest part about this whole thing that people can't imagine other people like stuff that they don't like like they're just shocked that people prefer consoles or not a Playstation <laughs> some big shocking stuff for a lot of these guys right there um, I can't imagine playing a game with fast-paced combat like Bayonetta, then sort of thing is much slower like God of War, which is kind of true. If you like action games, you play God of War from like playing a high-intense game like Bayonetta, then 
you probably that probably wouldn't be that probably be a weird system shock right there. So, Grandma asked a dote over a crown about plastic boxes. Clown. Imagine oh, you get to play his God of War in remakes. This guy is a clown. That's kind of messed up. God of War and his remakes. That's kind of that's kind of hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of funny. I can't imagine not enjoying both games. Imagine just blindly hating on one of the best games of the year because it's not from your preferred platform. Imagine being like this guy all the time. What a prick. Salty, salty, salt shaker. Excuse this tweet, you guys. You just discovered gaming last generation and don't know that PlayStation had these same games during the PS1, PS2, and PS3 generations. Xbox is such a pathetic platform. I'm still upset my kids' dad wasted. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this nonsense? Okay. Uh, imagine having nothing better to do than compare two different games on two different platforms. LOL. What's going to happen if God of War sucks? We're in shock complaining about having. Okay. Yeah. So I'm concluded right there. Once again, I don't get it. The fascination with only just having one. You know, this isn't Highlander. You aren't restricted to that rules, that rules, uh, that rules, movie rules or whatever. You can have more than one console. <laughs> and nobody's gonna take away the con your console if you have both in your house. So you can you can enjoy both. It's okay. So I'm gonna include it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this post. Leave a like, like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.